What's going on, my Azure Porter people? I hope you're having a good day so far. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'm here to lead the way for you to help you understand this just a little more. So we have ourselves an exponential equation where we have two to the power of six x equals four to the power of x plus six. Now that seems a little weird, right? That seems like it's gonna be a bit of work, but remember at the end of the day, there's always a solution. So we're gonna go ahead and go over this, and here's my only favor that I'm asking of you. If you, you know, finish watching this video and you like what you see and you feel like you've learned something, then I just want you to go ahead, like this video and comment what you learned or comment how excited you are to learn this. That way we can understand how engaging these videos are and we can make more of what you like, okay? And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. That way we can again get more exposure, help more people and then have fun at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and get to it here. Let's ace the ASVAB. So we have two to the power of six X equals four to the power of X plus six. You might be looking at a problem like this and you might think, well, let me just go ahead and plug in my exponents, you know, my X values and see what happens. That is one way to do it. That absolutely is one way to do it, but it might be a very lengthy process because think about it. If you start plugging in, plug in zero, two to the power of six times zero equals four to the power of zero plus six. So six times zero is gonna be one or zero. So two to the power of zero equals zero plus six. Okay, then that's gonna be one. And then four to the power of six, what's that gonna be? You see what I'm saying? That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while. And then, you know, obviously this is not gonna work. Uh, four to the power of six, that's literally 16 to the power of three. So that's 256 times 16, which I don't even wanna think about the math. That's, that's in the, 3000s ish. So there's no way that that's going to equal each other. And then you have to go ahead and plug that one in and that one in. So I'm telling you there's a better way. That's what I'm saying. And so if you understand your laws of exponents, this is actually very, very, very doable. How do I know? It's like this. So everybody, is it true? Isn't it true that four is the same thing as two squared? Isn't that the case? That's true, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. Now here's another small fact that I wanna remind you of. If we had something like this, if we had, let's say, two to the power of uh, five equals two to the power of question mark, well, isn't it logical then that if you have the same base, then the exponents would equal each other, right? Two to the power of five is the same as two to the power of blank. Well, if we're saying is the same as, well then, the basis of the same two to the power of five versus blank, then doesn't that mean that five equals that blank? Yeah, that's what would happen. So watch as I'm gonna use the blue up top and the red right there, I'm gonna use both of those facts to solve this problem, very straightforward, very easy, and once you get used to solving it this way, you'll never have to doubt yourself in terms of plugging in numbers. You can go ahead and get this done 20 seconds or less. I got you. So watch this, watch this my part of people. What I'm gonna say is, hey, look, oh yeah, four, that's the same as two squared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna rewrite everything, but that four, I'm gonna rewrite it as two squared. But we still have the exponent here of x plus six. We still have the exponent of x plus six. So what does this mean for us, my party people? What does this mean? Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go ahead and tackle this a little better. So. Here's what we have right now, everybody. What we have is, hey, this right here, I'm sorry, I zoomed in just a little more there. What we have is we have two as the exponent on the two, and then we have an exponent on the exponent. What is that called again? That's a power to a power. That's an exponent law. That's a power to a power. And so what's gonna happen here is this. We're gonna go ahead here, and we are gonna go ahead and apply the power to a power property, which means this is gonna get distributed to this. Whenever you have a power to a power, you multiply the powers. One more time. Whenever you have a power to a power or exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply those exponents together. And so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have two to the power of two times x plus six. Let me use black for that to be consistent. Two times x plus six, that's the new power. And in case you didn't know, we're distributing, so it's gonna be two x plus 12. So right over here, what we're gonna have is two to the power of six x equals two to the power of two x plus 12. 
Now, this seems like a lot right now, but all we did was we applied two little rules. One, we just showed that four is the same thing as two squared. We knew that. But then we applied the power to a power law to allow us to get the same base. Why was that important? What did I say earlier? If you have the same base and then you have those powers there, well, those powers, those exponents have to equal each other. And so that's the same as this. These exponents need to be equal to each other because you have the same bases. Two to this power is the same as two to that power. Well, that means that those powers have to be the same. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna take advantage of. I'm gonna take that six X and I'm gonna set it equal to the two X plus 12. Sounds good. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that X by itself. So first thing I'll do is notice that I have an X here and an X there. So I'll just move from the right side to the left side by performing the opposite operation. I have a positive 2x. I can get rid of it by negating 2x, subtracting 2x, nice and easy. So that's gone right there, my part, people. And then 6x minus 2x, that's going to give me 4x equals 12. Now, this seems a little easier now, doesn't it? We have 4x equals 12, so 4 times x. The opposite of multiplying by 4 is going to be dividing by 4 on both sides, giving me x equals 3. And there we have it. So before you go, there's our answer. We're good, but I want to make sure we go through the principles of this problem to make sure that you're not just looking at this like, oh yeah, I'm going to memorize this and then wait till the test and then do my thing. No, I want you to actually understand what we're doing so you can build that confidence up problem by problem until you've mastered the subject matter. That way I can throw different types of problems your way and you'll still know what to do. So that's really important. And if you value that, if you want to make sure that you're prepared for test day without the feeling of, oh man, I'm memorizing questions and just hoping I'm going to pass, but actually having that confidence, then it's a really good idea for you to talk to me about my, my full program. So my full program is basically intended to help you understand every topic, understand how to study the right way, how to know when you're ready, and everything in between to have that support you need. So here are just some of the things that you get in terms of all of my classes, all the practice, all the recordings to those classes, being able to text me whenever you need help, all of my study guides, everything you get, everything that you get is geared toward helping you succeed. And so if you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description of this video that you can go ahead and click on, or you can go ahead and text me 567-698-8867 and just say, Hey, Coach Anderson, I ran into your YouTube video and I saw that you were talking about your program. I would love to learn more about it. That's all it is. Go ahead and text me that and I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the program. Or again, you can click on the link in the description of this video. But long story short, my party people, I'm Coach Anderson. I wish you all the best, all the success. This was how to solve a, an exponential equation using our laws of exponents. I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep acing the ASVAB.